the midnight feline fiasco. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the city was swallowed by the insatiable darkness of night. The streets, once vibrant and chaotic, now lay silent like an eerie, forgotten graveyard. But the real madness was just beginning, and I knew it. I found myself wandering through the urban jungle, pursued by the ghostly shadows of feral cats. Their eyes gleamed like uncut diamonds in the dim streetlights, illuminating the hidden secrets of their untamed souls. These feline phantoms seemed to possess a raw, primal energy, a force that sent shivers down my spine and set my heart racing like a deranged stallion. I couldn't escape the sense that I had stumbled into a world that wasn't meant for human eyes, a world where the line between reality and madness was blurred, and the only truth was the unrelenting, savage instinct that coursed through the veins of these wild creatures. And yet, I was inexplicably drawn to them, captivated by their fierce independence and untamable spirit. As I ventured further into this strange realm, I realized that the real story wasn't about the cats at all, but about the humans who dared to brave the darkness and reach out to these misunderstood creatures. They were the true heroes, the fearless warriors who fought to bridge the gap between the wild and the civilized, armed with nothing but love, patience, and a can of tuna. And in that moment, as the cats and their human allies danced together in the moonlight, I understood that we were all part of the same cosmic chaos, bound together by the same twisted threads of fate that weave the tapestry of life. So there I stood, on the fringes of sanity, watching the world unravel before my very eyes. And I couldn't help but think, perhaps the real madness wasn't in the cats, but in the souls of the humans who sought to tame them.